What's up, Nerds and Nets? This is GamerTaff465. I am sorry for the delay on the video, but unfortunately, I had some trouble, some trouble, some problem troubles. Yeah, some problems trying to upload this video, and I was trying to, you know, get. A, it was a whole bunch that I had done in the last video, and I had a lot of super speed modes and everything. It was super awesome, but that would not save. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do it without the super speed mode, but, you know, I also cut down the length of the video, so I'm going to have to see if this one, you know, works, and if this one works, you guys are watching it, and if you guys are watching it, then this entire dialogue meant nothing. But anyway, you guys, um, here we're gonna go and fight this person. The Pokemon Gym, that is the super topless gym, whatever. You're about to get extremely owned by my Thunderbolt Fury. Come on, come on, Volkner. Show her how we do it. You ain't no blue, Zumaro. You ain't no blue. You ain't with Shofu. Get T-Bolt. Get T-Bolt to the face. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Okay. There uh, wh What? Wh wh what? She lives with like negative two HP. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. So, Shockwave always hits. Doesn't matter. Make sure to finish this Azumarill off. Uh, let's see. Volkner. Oh, really close to level 36. What a high level you are. Oh, what well, were you even a higher level after the next person? Because you kind of suck. Um, so yeah, this gym is going to is going to be extremely good to Volkner and Weeder because. Those two have the easiest time with this gym. It's just so completely and utterly easy to them. They're like, oh, oh, you guys, this is so easy. <laughs> but yeah, Lady Brianna, she brings out that Sea King. I'm like, Volkner, clean house. And I want an Oko this time. Give me that Oko. I don't want to see the Sea King light living after this, okay? Okay? There we go. See, uh, oh, oh, crit. It don't matter how you get it. It just matters that you get it. Okay. You got the Oko, so I'm proud of you, boy. You got level 36, so I'm proud of you. Special attack and speed. Holy Toledo's on Toledo bread stick. I don't know. Oh, no. I love. Oh, no. Ha, ah, family guy. People say I do that voice a little bit too well, but uh, who, what the end? I should teach you how harsh battles can be. This, this battle right here is going to be the battle that teaches me how harsh battles can be. Not the countless other battles I've had with other gym leaders and my rival. No, this, this right here is going to show me how much I can take in a Pokemon battle. After I Oko your Goldie. Really? Okay. You know what? I don't like you at all. You are not a good person because you lied to me. Oh, wait, you have another Pokemon? A Whalmer? Well, if your Whalmer can show me how harsh battles can be, then you are not a liar. But if it can't and it dies to a Giga Drain, then you are a bad person. Very bad person. So let's see what happens here. Oh, it lives! Wow! Oh my god! So you might actually show me how harsh a battle can be. Oh wait, never mind. It's astonished. Yeah, this is really harsh. That four, those four points of HP, they they really hit me hard here. It was it was horrible. It was completely and utterly drastic. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're strong. Oh, what? I, I'm strong. I I didn't know that since I'm challenging the most powerful gym in the region. As the person just before you had, you know, said. And I've beaten seven other gyms to get here. I had no idea I was strong. I thought I was a complete and a total weakling. But thank you for telling me that. God, extreme sarcasm used. That takedown hit pretty hard, though. But I'm going to have to regain all of my HP back. And you had better die. And you don't die. So that kind of makes me mad. So, you know that, um, that Pokemon in Gen, what is it, is it Gen 5? The one that looks like it should be the evolution of Love This, but it's not. 
It's like a Momola or wh whatever that is. Why didn't they make that an evolution of Love Day? Why? Because now you just have a Momola, which is a one evolution Pokemon, and Love Disc, a one evolution Pokemon. And they're just there. Why would they do that? Oh, crud. I was supposed to cut out this. But I'm doing no cuts this time because it seems that every time I do a cut in the sequence, it just messes up the save file. So I'm not doing that. So I'm, you're just going to see me run away from this Magikarp. You're just going to have to see me do that. I'm sorry. I ran away from a Magikarp. That made me feel so bad in my, in my stomach. I just wanted it to go away. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Alright. That was a few and a half seconds, okay? First of all. So, give me my Pokemon because I'm leaving. No. I love that song. The music here is just so upbeat and peppy. Let's just listen for a second. Oh, well, that was rudely interrupted by the gym music. Gosh! Ugh. Uh, but since I want to battle all of the people in the downstairs area, I'm going to have to mess up on this one because I want to face the girls on the top part. I didn't mess up or anything because I don't mess up. Yeah, I was just saying, okay, that's, it's a good thing that I did this on purpose because I definitely did. That's exactly what I did right there. Yeah. Be quiet, you guys. Okay, I messed up. Leave me alone. Mm. And then I just stand here watching you with my eyes. <laughs> I train Pokemon to get a little flawless. Don't think I'm a pushover. Honestly, if you're a harem under a gym leader's, um, gym, I don't know what to think of you. Like, literally, there are multiple females, not, like, on top of his gym, but they're under his gym, like, in the basement. So does that make Wallace a pedophile or a, you know, or this his sex dungeon? Because I don't like being in a gym leader sex dungeon. That's not good for me. It's not a it's not a good look, and I don't want this to happen. So, um, it's the clash to end all clashes. Weeder versus well, actually, it would be Weeder versus a Ludicolo, but you know, of course, they don't have Ludicolo because they suck. But I guess it'll work. Um, those are some good stats. Play defeated Olivia. I was bold right over. Who even uses that expression? B I was bold right over. You were are you a bowling pin? Do what? what? I don't even know how to make sense of that. But now Weeder is the same level as my starter, which means that my starter has got to do some total, you know, total gym workouts and such. I don't even, he needs to do some stuff. Last Chrissy, she's gonna bring out her Whelma. I'm gonna bring out Volkner. By the power of Odin, gets bolted in the face by my Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's critical, it's a critical hit. Look Vegeta, I got a critical. Ah. Uh, Team Four Star. They're funny. They have, they make me LOL inside. <laughs> oh, it's another Wilmer. Maybe it'll go down as fast as the last one. Oh, it did. Oh, Vegeta, it wasn't the critical. Oh, poor Nappa. He didn't get the critical this time. You're strong. I was fooled by your cute. Wait, what? That was cute. Well, maybe after this gym, I can go and you know. You and me, and that place down the... Yeah. Wait, why are you in his sex dungeon? 
You're a schoolgirl. I believe that he's breaking a few laws here, including, you know, the existence of this dungeon in the first place, but he has a schoolgirl down here. That's something wrong with that. Oh, a Carvana! This is gonna be fun. T-Bolts? Uh, if it doesn't Oko him, I would be disappointed. There we go. There we go. Here we go again. Carvana fainted. Vokna, you're about to level up. How do you feel? I'm going to piss the way. That's how I. Uh, Vokna is like. That's how he speaks. Thunderbolt! Scare you? Good. Let's see, Beauty Tiffany is about to use Sharpedo. Um, I'm pretty sure that one T bolt to the face will take you out. And if it does it, then Vulcan will just have to destroy everything in the world. In the world. Player defeated Beauty Tiffany. Well, excuse me. What? You're not allowed to say that. That's 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 our word. Okay. I'm Pokemon. The time flies. Oops. 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 Pokefam Marissa. Azuru. Volkner. Use T-Boat and destroy her. Destroy. In him. Yep. Ended. It was ended right there on the spot. You guys all saw it. A Meryl. Let's see. She has three Pokemon. One is an Azuru. And one is a Meryl. So, let me just give a good guess on what the last Pokemon's going to be. I'm just going to shoot, you know, just making a guess. But I'm guessing it's a Zumaru. That's what I'm guessing. Oh my god, I must be psychic. It's not like that comes along very often, always, through these Pokemon games. T-Bolt! Did not kill him. Water gun? Oh no! Oh, that did absolutely nothing to me? Oh well. Wow. Oh, she got that citrus berry. Too bad that doesn't do anything and you're still going to die. But you know, good effort though. Zoomerill fainted. Volkner is a boss. Oops. Okay, so let's see what we have right here. Uh, received. Yeah, the EXP share actually didn't do um, as much as I thought it was. So uh, I just took it off. I gave it to him because I thought it would increase the experience that he would get from the battles. But it ended up not doing that at all. So I'm use Vibrava to fly directly to the Pokemon Center, heal up the pokes, and then this, as soon as we're done here, we go and fight the gym leader, take him out, and eat some babies. I'm joking. We don't take out the gym leader. No, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's a joke, people. We at Gamertize Studio Places do not condone eating babies. And if you do eat babies, what is wrong with you? Why, why, why would you eat babies? Who does that? That's disgusting. It's horrible. So anyway, we enter the gym, and we conquer the puzzles, because we are Gamatai. Conqueror of minuscule puzzles. Yes. So let's see. Yes. I don't want to fall and make a mistake like last time. And... Uh... Go to the right. Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure, using my super psychic powers, to make sure I knew what to do. Which I do, because I'm awesome! 
So yeah, we just go this way, that way, this way, that way, and some other ways. And it's time to crush Wallace where he stands. Oh yeah. Oh, you think you're cool because you have two waterfalls next to you? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis. There's something a different. Uh, I think it's since what happened inside the cave of origin and what you did, I will likely learn through our upcoming battle. It's now show me, show me the power. I am. Actually, I kind of expect Wallace to be like one of those dramatic people like that. Look at that pose. I am Wallace. Ha ha ha. Love disc, go! I love you, love disc. Now, destroy him! Yeah, that would be good, except for, um, what? T Bolt. Aw, oh, dang. Yeah, so, you know, it was a good run. You had a good run as gym leader. I mean, you're pretty cool, but no. I'm sorry. Both are good. Come back! Go, Rita! Go, Rita! It's a wish cash. I wonder what move we will use. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. Two cheats. Yep. Weeder, use Giga Drain. And all of that damage that you just inflicted on me. Guess where that goes? Right back to me. And you die. So what do we learn? Don't mess with Weeder. Because Weeder will kill you. Celio. Um, yeah, let's leave that to Volkner since I'm pretty sure Celio will have some kind of ice move with him. It's just a hunch. I'm pretty sure he'll have some kind. Let's do the T-Bolt. Let's do that T-Bolt. But guess what? We will never know what kind of moves that Celio had because it died. Except for it didn't. And it did have a nice move. It had Aura Beam. Aurora Beam. And oh my god. Why? Why the Hyper Potion? I mean, you're still going to die. It's just going to be postponed now. I don't understand your logic, sir. How about you, Mustache Man? Mysterious Mustache Man! Um, 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 um. I kind of want to see Leo that, um speaks in noms. Nom 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 nom. My name is Nom Nom. I eat nom noms for nom nom. And Volkner grew to level 38 during my immaturity. Yay! Sea King? Yay! Weeder! Let's see if you get to level 38, my friend. Actually, we do need Beautify to gain a few levels. So, yeah, Beautifly, let's go in and see what you've got. Can you handle the Sea King? Because I'm pretty sure you got what it takes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um. Uh, don't worry, so far, I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. That's not good. That is not a good thing to happen right there. And if that horn drill hit, I would be so angry. You don't use Oko moves in a gym battle. That's definitely horrible. It's supposed to be a trainer skill versus a gym leader skill. Not a move that's directly proportioned by luck. Suck. Sea King use Rain Dance. That is not good because that already powerful water pulse is now going to be enhanced to an even more powerful water pulse. That is very not. So let's see. Um, super effective. Yeah, we got all of our health back. Water pulse. Let's see how much it does now. No. No. I don't like that happening. That shouldn't happen at all. It's not fair. But I'm pretty sure that after Mega Drain, um, after Mega Drain, I should have just enough to live one more Water Pulse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I can live this Water Pulse. 
That is unless he confuses me. Yeah. Actually, I was going to say unless he gets a crit, but that works too. Okay. And unless he uses a hyper potion, which he does, and all I have to do is hit him. If I don't hit myself, then everything will be fine. But of course I hit myself in my confusion. Why wouldn't I? So fine. God dang. Now you're just going to have to leave it to Weaver. <laughs> leave it to Weeder. I made a pun because of the show. And... Shut up, I thought it was fun. Yeah, let's see how much Giga Drain does. Holy guacamole sauce. Yes. When does Beautifly, Beautifly learns Giga Drain at level 38? So, yeah. He will be learning Giga Drain in the next episode. That is for sure. Mostly because the next episode, it was actually part of this episode and I already narrated it, so I know that's going to happen. But, that's besides the point. God, that was amazing. My low tick. Okay, I know my low tick has a nice move. And I was about to keep him in. I was like, no, I'm not risking that. Just not gonna do it. Just not. Just not. So, Volkner goes in. My low tick goes in. T Bolt goes in. It goes hard. And that my low tick. Okay, that's actually pretty good seeing as this is a five level difference that's actually whoa no that's not good at all luckily we are faster ice beam did not freeze because if freeze hacks happened I would be like god that's not good but we killed my low tick the most powerful Pokemon on Wallace's team bravo I realize your authenticity I find the I don't know what voice to use with him. So, rain badge, accept it. Okay, we will. I mean, bow, bow. Having that badge just serves that full obedience of Pokemon to every command you make. I wonder how that works. Like, literally, does like the Pokemon that disobey you that are like level. Wait, what level did the other badge go to? Like 70? So if you have like a level 80 Pokemon, it's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm not gonna listen. Oh crap, he got the 8th badge! Okay, okay, I'll listen to you without any fault. Oh god, don't use the 8th badge. Just power on me. Like, how does that, what what goes through the mind? But uh, yeah, this has been Gamer Talk 465 If you like this video, press the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button. As always, leave a comment. Dang, I didn't even see that we were so late into it. Next time, uh, we will be heading to Victory Road. So see ya!